Are you serious? Are you serious? Kim Jong Un. We just heard four minutes ago. The Crusader Journal is is covering it. Now the U.S. News is covering it. That North Korea says the missile that they tested yesterday was is aimed to be used to carry large nuclear warheads. That missile that they fired yesterday, which landed near the coast of Russia, only 60 miles from uh, Vladivostok, Russia, was actually built. It is a new ballistic missile, and it was made to carry a large nuclear warhead. Matter of fact, North Korea said today, this morning, Monday, which it's not Monday here yet, but it, in North Korea it is, North Korea said today, just minutes ago, it had successfully conducted a mid to long range missile test uh, uh, on Sunday, early Sunday morning, supervised by leader Kim Jong Un, which was aimed at verifying the capability to carry a large scale heavy nuclear warhead. What? Uh, the missile was launched at the highest angle so as not to affect the security of the neighboring countries they say it flew 787 kilometers reaching an altitude of 2111.5 kilometers high um, the Norse official KCNA news is saying uh, and so this thing fired I mean 2000 100 kilometers high, so you're talking, well, I'm just going to do some rough math, but about 1,500 miles high and went and, and landed about 435 miles out into the Sea of Japan. But they did not fire it in the direction of Japan or in the direction of South Korea or anywhere near the U.S. aircraft carriers and nuclear submarines. I mean, they knew not to test it in that direction, so they, they tested it. And it landed 60 miles from Vladivostok, Russia, just near the coast of Russia. They dropped it right where they wanted to. Uh, nobody shot it down. It went, um, I mean, it was a very, very, very high launching uh, ballistic missile, a new kind that has the ability to carry large nuclear warheads. This was a very successful test. And even though Kim Jong un uh, on Sunday morning had released that he would be willing to meet, actually late Saturday evening, he'd be willing to meet with the Trump administration. He also said he would be willing to meet with South Korea's new president. And in the meantime, just go ahead and fire off another ballistic missile and drop it just in the front door of Russia. So what Kim Jong-un is doing is saying, I'm willing to meet with you guys. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm just carrying on business. Okay, I'm not going to stop anything. I don't care what Trump says. I'm going to do what I want to do. If you want to meet with me, sure. As long as you meet certain criteria, I'd be love to meet with you. So Kim Jong-un is playing hardball. I believe he's desperate. I believe he's real desperate. And that the people are starving. Now, you guys know I did a report that I, I got from a, a very, very reliable source. And I'm not going to reveal that source but a very detailed information. A flash drive had been smuggled out of North Korea, uh, and that information uh, was is, okay released out there. And in the information, it gave you a, the inside the mind of Kim Jong-un. I mean, can you imagine looking into the mind and the mot motivation of this guy? I mean, he's playing with the green buttons, folks, and he's, he's seriously playing with the green buttons. And if you squeezing too hard and he's being squeezed but what it says in that report you need to go back and watch it it's two part uh videos i did it two days ago i think and in it he talks about his army is hungry they're being fed rations they're skinny they're they're, they're, they're malnourished and if any general was to make a move with any troops without clearing it with kim jong-un they just execute him on the spot kim jong-un is afraid of a coup he knows his people are hungry. He knows he can't hold them off forever. He needs cash. And he's, he, the only hand he thinks he can play is the hand of 
threaten the world with a nuclear bomb unless somebody gives me some money so I can feed my army to keep my empire going. And the, and the Russians have been feeding them. The Americans have been feeding them. The, the, the Chinese have been feeding them. But uh, how much longer? I know America isn't feeding them publicly, but believe me. But that appeasement under Obama, that, it's not going to work. Obviously, it's not going to work. And Trump doesn't care. He's not feeding nobody who doesn't deserve it. Trump is ready to squeeze this guy down and assassinate him if he could. And boy, I tell you, this is getting very intense. We're on the brink of Armageddon. We, we, I'm serious, folks. Not the Armageddon of the Bible, but, but you might as well call it that. We're at the brink of World War III, and it is nerve-wracking to the people, the millions of people that live in that region. Do not miss today's live broadcast. It's going to start at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to get ready for it right now. Do not be late. Come to my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. It'll also be live on new live stream. Also, Roku Satellite Television. Also, Blog Talk Radio. If Blog Talk Radio is fixed, they have a problem with their website. Also, I'll be live right here on this YouTube channel. Are you saved? 